everybody, this is Havoc, and welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War. We are continuing our Union campaign. In the last episode of the Confederate campaign, we absolutely decimated in the Battle of Bull Run. And today, or Shiloh, excuse me, and today we are going to see if we can't decimate as the Union. You guys have sent in a lot of names for the Union troops, and I am immensely grateful for it. We have First Scott Lifeguards, we have Montezuma Regiment, Ellsworth Avengers, the Blazier Scouts, Tompkins Marine Artillery, Coldwater Artillery, Ring Wraiths is something I came up with myself because it was um, Wraiths with an R. We have Davies, which is still kind of something if someone wants to give a name for that. We have the Lion Legion, or the Leon Legion, whichever one you prefer. And then the Red Legged General Devils. Now, I'm actually going to replace him with Lieutenant Colonel. These guys don't need Brigadier Generals. As awesome as that would be, I would actually rather level up my Lieutenant Colonels than use brigadier generals as the main group over here so they're gonna change and switch yes, those sir. guys out they'll get the some more things in the future and let's get right on into it. we do have 4,000 men left but if I remember correctly we do the battle of Shiloh and uh, we can only put out 10 brigades 40 brigades oh wow okay well let's go back real quick that's right, I guess that was only 10 brigades on the other side. So let's go ahead and make some new divisions. I'm going to replace him with Andrew Porter. We're going to do a new, we're just going to do a couple of infantry brigades. Nothing too super fancy here. Uh, not even Lorenzes. I think we're going to go with some Palmetto 1842s. We apparently can't afford that. Can we do anything in our armory that would make a little bit of side money? Not a whole lot at all. We could sell our six pound wired and our 12 pounder howitzer for a little bit of extra side cash. But aside from that, not a whole lot we can do. We have our hunters. I actually want to keep those because we can make a nice division out of them. Cooking Brothers, let's go ahead and sell that. Sawed offs, they're not going to do anything. Might as well sell our colts as well. I don't have enough money. I guess I do have some reputation I could spend to get some Springfield 1855s. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to be able to get 26,000 there. Yeah, we'll do that. Not going to put your Brigadier General in. Absolutely not. And then I am going to go ahead and use, get some Springfield 1855s. But I'm going to replace... The Polonated 1842s with this guy. Actually, who has more experience? We're going to give it to Ellsworth Avengers. Now, these Springfield 1855s, while they suck in melee, they are extremely proficient in reloading and efficiency. So I'm going to go and use that. And then that will open up some troops over here for some Springfield 1842s. That way we just get more. So, of course, there's some other troops for you guys to label. We'll definitely take your recommendations there. 875 men left. Let's go ahead and get into the Battle of Shiloh now. The enemy has minus 10% morale and then minus 5% army size. Now, I have been hearing from you guys, your guys' comments that it does not appear that um, the training or the armory or the army size seems to go down despite these massive victories you guys are getting so that is something i will potentially report and if you guys could do me a favor and also report it that way they could get it fixed if you feel like it's something that definitely needs to get fixed um, it's pretty important to me because that means no matter what because i've been hearing reports that their training hasn't even gone down at all which means they're still staying the same no matter how many troops you decimate which shouldn't really happen it is the 6th of April of 1862. Your army moves down via the Tennessee River and disembarks at Pittsburgh Landing. You are expecting Major General Don Carlos Buell to join you with the Army of the Ohio for an attack on Corinth 22 miles inland. You must defend your position until both armies meet and continue the expedition. We get $270,000 and 14,000 men if we win, plus 10 reputation. We have transported our corps to Pittsburgh Landing, located at the west bank of the Tennessee River. In order to guard a wider area, we have established multiple encampments south of Pittsburgh Landing. The Army of the Mississippi under Major General Albert Sidney Johnston, these names are amazing, is known to operate in the region but should not be in condition for offensive action. We'll see about that. Tomorrow you expect to combine your armies and advance towards Corinth, 22 miles southwest, the crossroads of the Confederacy. 
Until our, our allies arrive, however, Pittsburgh Landing must be defended at all costs. We only have 12 brigades, 32,000 men, 44 guns compared to the enemy's 51,000 men, 164 guns. We have transported the army to this location. We are preparing to advance further south. Our encampments are spread out to warn any possible rebel attack, starting at Shiloh Church and ending here on the west bank of the Tennessee River. We are expecting General Bell tomorrow. Then we will unite our forces and strike out over southern soil. Our pickets have reported enemy movements a few miles south. Oh, look at that. Maybe it's a decoy tactic and the rebels are planning to attack us from another direction. In any case, our right flank at Shiloh Church must be defended. It would be wise to deploy some skirmishers to scout the area and try and understand the Confederates' true intentions. That's exactly what we're going to do. Mobilize your forces and stay alert. We have reserves help you troops if it's so needed. Nope, not run. All right, boys. Are we ready for this? Let's go ahead and get our troops in over here. We're dug in pretty tight. I could put some troops in right there, but I don't know that I really want to. We're going to hold for now. These guys are in their own thing. Oh, I guess you can go and come over there. We'll go ahead and put you in over there as well. What we need to do is we need to have our infantry right out here. We do have some scouts as well. And then I'm going to bring in my artillery and put them just about as close as they humanly possibly can. And we're going to see just what the south has to throw at us. Look at you, you goofball looking dude. I'm going to place Havoc right in here. Montezuma's regiment. We're going to use our skirmishers just like we did in the south. Except we're going to use them to delay their advance at Shiloh Church. Hold it steady, boys. Where are they at? I hear them. There's a there's a troop. Is this an organized Confederate attack? You bet your butt it is. We're about to have 480 troops looking down the barrels of this gun. Hold up. Fall back. Fall back. That is a lot of troops. There we go. Keep some troops over here and harass them. Ah, I'm ready. We got any more troops around us? I'll keep a guy over here just in case. This ought to delay that regiment. We got another brigade coming in over here. I know I'm switching between regiment and brigade. More rebels. Seems they are heading towards our camp. Fall back. We are going to fall back. I'm going to let them wear themselves out. And we are going to stay in cover. And then we're actually going to come over here and I'm going to ha 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 harass them on the other flank. We'll remember we do have Cav. We're going to push Montezuma up a little bit. There's no way these guys will have any sort of energy left. About to be in range. We'll move back. That flank hurt. 
I think it's slightly ridiculous they were able to reach that, considering my own skirmishers should have been able to outrun them. More elements of the army have appeared. There we go. Get those cab to route. Wood's gonna get hit hard. Look at that. That was a 52 kill volley. Here's more troops down at the bottom. We got Stuart. Yeah, they're gonna push that flank hard. We'll give them a fight. Fall back. Wood's getting hit. They are just outside of that area. More brigades from Polk. This is very much a full bore attack. Ah, 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 well. Come on. Let's go after Hardy. Never mind, we'll go after Wood. Charge. Charge into him. There we go. Oh, come on. You guys can fight harder than that. Get out of there. I've never understood the whole cav thing as a, as a cav unit. They, as a melee cav unit at that, they should be able to last a little longer. We're going to fall back. We're going to have to pull reinforcements out because they have managed to somehow route Montezuma's regiment. Charge at Avery. Hold back. Yeah, we've got some serious flanks to worry about here. Hold. There we go. Move Montezuma's regiment up. Davies, hold. Come on, boys. You got to hold better than that. We can't take that. What are you doing, Legion? Oh, come on, man. You know better. We got scouts pulling up. Hold. over here that is a lot of troops coming at us man that is a lot of troops we've already lost 5% hold they still have to cross that river so, so far we're doing okay Hit him. Hit him. Hold. We're trying to flank us over there. As long as you make and hold. Who's trying to charge where? Man, they have a lot of troops. You're gonna come in front. You're gonna come flank. You're gonna come flank. Hopefully, they can hit those guys first.
Hit those guys, please. Turn around. Havoc, you're going to come in here. You're going to hold right there as well. Come on, give him another volley. Shatter, please. There we go. Oh, they're going to shatter that line as well. No, fire on these guys. Johnson, you need to die, please. Come over here. He's holding very well. Very well. There you go, Johnson. No, I think we'll stay. Hold. Got to hold 53 more minutes. You guys held your ground very well. Let's get in there. So our flank held over here very successfully. We just got to make sure we hold this other flank. That's going to be a little bit harder. We don't have any extra ammo. Look at that. That was a gorgeous attack. Oh, crap. Fall back. Hold. Steady yourselves. Look at that. Look at that. That was a good, good volley. I'm glad they turned at that last second. That's what we needed them to do. Cav, you're going to come in here. They are not going to route through us. They're going to route and run away. Hold. 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 There we go. These guys are just out of range. Alright, they're going to try and flank us again. We should be able to hold it. Cleburne should probably route after this part. 11% of our men are already dead. This is not a good first start to the game. There we go. Cleburne's routed. We're just going to let this kind of simulate through real quick. Oh, Lindsay, that wasn't very smart. Johnson's just going to let themselves get shot to death. Meanwhile, we're reloading and we're taking out Shaver. With no losses to ourselves, I'm going to let these guys just sit here. Because they are taking a lot of ammo and they're not dying very much. Hold. There we go. Holding the line. Yeah, they're really trying to push on that point. They are not doing well. Next part, Confederates attack our left. Confederates are massing on our left flank. We must make a defensive line and hold them. We'll get more reinforcements as soon as, soon as they are available. Our main objective is to hold the center of our encampment and our left. Godspeed. Uh, let's actually get up here. 
Let me get right up there. We could actually get our ring rates to come support. Some support over on that flank. There we go. That's pretty good cover. Let's get some cover down there. We will dismount on this part. Hold. Hold. Scout. Scout, my friend. There they are. Must hold until the rest of our army mobilizes. Alright, we'll just hold steady. Two and a half hours. How many more troops do they have? There's Gibson. Fire when ready. Um, there's Pond. Right, we got it. There we go. Gibson will hopefully give him a little more trouble. Wow, skirmishers, you got wrecked. General Bragg is spotted with the rest of his corps. guys really aren't doing that bad. Jenkins, that was a good try. There you go. Hold. Hold, lads. Fall back, fall back, fall back. I don't get how they're so freaking fast. Well, that's what you get. I mean, you didn't fall back when I told you to. So, can't really feel sorry for you when you don't listen. Their core is also here. Oh my word, come on. boys oh hold on Gibson you gonna die boy oh yeah we got flanked hard we got flanked real hard wish we could get some reinforcements Boys, take him down. Come on, you got to be able to route Martin. Come on, you got to do it. There's a lot of troops over here. But I do get what they mean. There really shouldn't be a reason why these troops are two stars over here. One star, two stars with 3,000 men. But 
that's all right. No worries. How is this progressing? We have like almost no ammo. I don't know why we're running so low on ammo. I mean, you never really officially run out of ammo. It just takes a super hell of a long time if you don't. Survive. Or don't. That was a good attempt. Come on, come back. No, they're slowly... They're slowly moving over. know what to do with all these guys. Confederates have secured Lincoln Field. Yep. There's just too many of them. I mean, we just can't, can't fight it. More rebels spotted? Are you freaking kidding me? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to lose a crap ton of people. They can have both those fields. Withdrawal to the hornet's nest. Yeah, for reals. Perfect location, establish a new barrier. We better have some freaking reinforcements. Quickly secure your area before flanks get overrun. By delaying them as much as possible, we increase our chances to secure Pittsburgh landing. All right, fall back. Get over here. Gordon, get over here. Let's get at the church. Oh, they ain't going nowhere. Get Wagner up and over here. You guys come straight over here. Got skirmishers. Got Cav. They're not getting this flank. They'll get the other one for sure. Richards, you're just going to hold in here, man. You're going to fall back with your group. You're going to fall back with your group. I'd almost rather you guys be at full strength. Run, lads. Come on, let's get some cav out there. Got two hours and 44 minutes. Shaver. Run. How are we doing over here? We're posting up. No, why did you move? How are you getting rear flanked? is literally impossible. There's no feasible way. We just need ammo. We are so short on ammo, I didn't realize it. Nelson's divisions from Weld's Corps. Oh, thank God. We're going to flank him over on this side.
We're gonna run your ragged boys. Hold the line. Alright, how are we doing? We've lost 70% overall. I don't know their casualties, but it's got to be just massive. Because we are successfully holding these troops off. And they just keep throwing them at us. Twelve hundred kills. There we go. That's a good volley. Wow, they're pushing us hard. How are they doing over here? They're doing good. Shaver's still going after these guys. And we're just out of ammo. That's just what it is. Gladden shouldn't last long. He's going to get flanked on every side. There we go. Bye, one ready. Take your guys out like you're supposed to. Bring that guy over there. There's really not as much action as there was with the Confederate campaign. This is more of a defensive maneuver, whereas the Confederates were offensive. Regardless, it is still a good one. We just got to be able to hold the line. Hold. We're out of ammo. That's nothing new. Colonel William Hazen is killed. Wow, look at that. Look at that route. Didn't even know those guys were there. I think it is a little bit of a slight BS. But they have so many troops. I mean, I get the why. I don't know, something just seems off about it. Shouldn't get this many troops from the Confederates. Come on, kill them. We're holding that front. Colonel Wraith is wounded. Come on. Hold the line. Hold it. Oh, they're going to punch through that middle. They see me vulnerable. Yep, just, it's kind of a waiting game. It's anybody's guess. Oh, hey, there they are. Wonder where you guys were at. Oh, we just had a unit route. Come 
on. You gotta get some good kills. You got 2200 already. Forty-eight minutes left. We're not even close to being done. They've routed. Statham hasn't. Is there anything over here that I can exploit? I don't think there is. lads Russell don't you dare make my troops route that's 2400 kills back off so they're gonna do what the Confederates do best and they're just gonna mass charge they don't realize is I can mass charge back or you could just not obey me Wagner And now they're going to push up my center. There we go. There comes Jenkins. There you go. Run away. Three minutes left. We've lost 32% of our men. Hold Pittsburgh Landing. Do we need to fall back? I think we do. We have to establish our last line. If the Rebels take it, it's all over. We will be surrounded and destroyed. We have some ironclads. I also didn't realize they were apparently taking everything. We'll hold Shiloh Church as long as we can. But they're pushing it hard, man. Fall back, please. And fall back. Go back there. Don't want in that. We cannot lose Shiloh Church. We can cave on many fronts. Shiloh Church is not one of them. But we need that supplies pretty desperately. Uh, Richards had surrendered. Come on, let me grab him. Man, we're just not really getting anywhere, are we? They just have so many more troops than we do. That's just it, plain and simple. What can men do against such reckless hate? Let's back up. Strategic retreat. Get back here. Get back here. Should I bring guys around? I don't. I have to. Unless those units are out as well. Come on. We have to at least hold Shiloh Church.
Come on. Run, lads. Oh, come on, man. I'm really surprised that we don't get any reinforcements. Like, where are our reinforcements? Crap, man. Yeah, they're just gonna flank us. They're just gonna use their numbers. Because they know they can. Get these guys over here. I mean, there's, they're not running out of ammo. They're not anything. I guess they are. Okay. That's fine. As long as it's being fair and even. Ironclad, did you do anything? Charge him. Gordon, come on, man. I mean, come on. For reals? Yeah, I just, I don't know how to fight it. I don't know how I can. They have so many men here. Oh, well, now you freaking come out of the woodworks. Big freaking idiots. Now, what we're going to do... We're gonna start punching back. And we're gonna start pushing them back. As much as we can. Now we've lost 50% of our men. Which is basically. Well, you know what? You shouldn't have been that far down. Which is a big chunk of our army, I'll tell you that. That's all they're gonna do. They're just gonna bum rush us because they know they can get away with it. Hold the line, boys. Charge. Gordon, get in here. There we go. What do these guys have? That's the other thing. I want to know what kind of guns they have, because they have to be rocking some pretty sweet guns. It's the only real way they're able to pull this thing off. Keep pushing them forward, boys. Pushing them forward. Forward momentum. Good lord, they have so many troops. Let's get Wagner in. Remove Gibson up. Of course, we're going to fight some freaking ridiculous cab. Dodge, man. Come on, get out of there. Come on. Oh my word, this is bad. 
Well, at least we've routed one group. Little bit ridiculous. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll probably file a bug report tonight. Because that's just too many. It's too many. Not that like too many troops is in. Oh, poor me. But uh, shouldn't have been that many troops. If I can't field that many. I mean, admittedly, if the game feels rigged, then you're not going to want to play it. If dynamic manpower doesn't work, then you're not going to want to play it. Route them. There we go. And I am just getting wrecked over here. And these guys aren't firing either. Stop. And we're going to use these reinforcements to push, push the enemy back. We're going to stay very much beyond this. It's going to be a very, very bloody, nasty, terrible soak battle. But I'm here to prove a point. Oh, we have reinforcements, I guess. Thank God. Yeah, we have nothing left. Go figure. We held through the night. And now we're pushing them back. That's what we're going to do. Don't even want to listen to their crap anymore. Jackson in over here. Supplies come in. We only have one set of supplies. Gonna move cannons up. Fetters have secured Silo Church. Yeah, we'll take it back. Don't worry. Don't you worry your little hearts out, Missy. Let's go a little faster. This is a little too slow for me. Fetters have secured Spain Field. Nope, screw it, dude. These guys are empty already. We're gonna come right here. I ain't giving two craps about any of you guys. You're all gonna die. That'll be the end of it. Countercharge them. Cav commander spotted. It's a thousand cav. Men. Move. Montezuma's regiment move up as well. Terrell, come on, man, move up. Up. 
These are not my boys. So it really doesn't hurt me to have them die. There we go. Move these boys back up. Jackson, get over here. Yep, we got a lot of guys wounded. A lot of guys who might not make it back. Keep on moving forward. Jackson, get him. Sick him, boy. Another lieutenant colonel wounded. Move up. Guys, Jackson's trying to push, but he just can't. Let's move down. Where Jenkins come from? Oh, good God. Well, rip, yep, Jackson's wounded. Let's get down here. You don't have to run. Terrell, come on. Those guys are empty. Move in. Move in. We're just going to hover over here. Man, why not? We got enough troops. There we go. Look at those kills. Well, Woods is out. Move up. Jackson, why don't you come down here, see if there's any troops coming in up that way. These dudes are just dead. There we go. Oh, it's glorious. It's glorious. Well done, men. Well done. No, we're going to stick around. Because I need those kills. We need a, oh, at least one of those must be true. Uh, let's go ahead and get this little guy. Run, lad. There we go. Nope, we're gonna hold on to it. Let's get up here. Those guys have been R U N N O F T. We're just gonna keep pounding them. And let's split some troops here. Oh, never mind. Come right back. 
Yep, I knew they'd do that. Totally knew they'd do that. Let's get Forrest in there. Charge into Jenkins. So we'll be staying at Shiloh Church, that's for sure. But they're just going to move down to these other two. There we go. These guys are dug in pretty good. Yep, we've lost a lot of troops here. Montezuma, why don't you get back? Charge into him. Wagner over here, bud. So the thing is here, the reason, another reason why I'm doing that, I'm also seeing if we can, are able to get any guns. If we aren't able to get many guns, if any, then that'll definitely be a bug. Because we killed a crap ton of troops. And haven't seen much in the way of um, getting that number back, be it guns or anything. We'll have to see. We'll have to see because, again, the mechanic only, if it only, if it doesn't work, then there's no use in having it. And that just kind of screws up our campaign, in which case I'll put it on hold unless I hear from the group, the developers, and we'll just see what happens. Last desperate attack. Charge, boys. Charge into him. Go, go, go. Move in, boys. There we go, Anderson. Caught you. Just a couple more units and we'll be good. Come on, boys, get through here. Surround them a little bit. Give him a good volley. There we go. Give Bragg a volley. Look at that. All right, we'll finish it. All right, so the Union... That would be us. We deployed 38,000. We did lose 18,000, which is going to be a solid 4,000 more 
than what we were able to get from this battle. However, the enemy only deployed 44,000. They lost 34,000, so they should be missing a heck of a whole lot more. 3,300 kills, 3,200 kills. We got several, several wounded and or dead goods. There we go. Some Springfield 1842s picked up quite a few of those. That'll work. It's still not going to replace everything that I lost. 14,000 men. We exchanged um, a lot more recruits. And this is also something that's new as well. For winning these bigger battles, we get a general and or some extra perks already. So you can see we have 16,000 men, but we only have 3,000 left. We lost all of those other troops in my opinion not very worth it we're going to take a look here as you can see that uh, i don't remember what it was at the beginning training however has gone up significantly which i think is a bunch of horse crap and uh, that should not happen especially after that uh general i recommend you strengthen our positions at the event of shiloh havoc's army is perfectly able to destroy us now that we're more vulnerable please do not hesitate to send uh, our surviving army with at least a few more divisions. Battle of Shadows re uh, revealed you need more proven veterans to stop Havoc's advance, consisting of 8,300 well-experienced soldiers. Uh, your engagement with Shiloh has definitely lured more Confederate soldiers into attacking you. One full corps of 21,700 men has been spotted some miles away from your position. See, I just don't agree with that. I don't agree with that whatsoever. We should just be able to absolutely demolish them. Training should go down. So I probably will file a report because it's just not, that's not something that should happen at all. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the battle. Nonetheless, we will be seeing if there will be anything. I'll probably back off of the major battles until uh, I have seen more troops. Or I have seen something from the developers once I file this report. And uh, we'll just see what happens because... With six victories, they're only getting stronger in training. Their armory isn't going down either, and their army is just still staggeringly high. So we'll just see. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Haven't already hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Be on the lookout for the next episode of Ultimate General Civil War. This is Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.